thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. The only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone, so I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's, and not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you can be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. Hajime's testimony is a lie. And the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. Hajime's test and the fact that Ibuki... That would also be a... I don't think I can deny... After all, Hajime... Why would Hajime... Well, obviously, because... Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating... No, that's wrong! I'm not the killer! I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket. They're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. 
Or did anyone tell him what happened in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. And also...